one thing you absolutely have to let go as a believer. Well, actually, every human being should let this go. But especially believers, that's this longing to be in control. We think, so much even believers have this false idea that when we are in control, we can arrange things in such a way that it will benefit us. And I can tell you one thing. You don't have control because you're not capable of having control. And even if you would get more power, you're just an individual human being with individual human needs, with a longing for a community, so you're not qualified to have control. Yet, too often, we want to control outcomes. When you insist on controlling outcomes, you're investing in a delusion that will backfire on you and harm you and those around you in the long run. And that's why the Heavenly Father brings you low first. Listen, if you come in full power, of course you're going to get good reactions. Of course you're going to get good treatment. Who in the right mind would resist someone coming in full power? But if you come in full power, what's going to happen is that people are going to react to your powerful presence in a way to manipulate you in their favor. So the behavior you'll see will not be who they who nor what they really are. So stop this idea of control. You don't have control. You never had and you never will and you don't need control. The Heavenly Father decides the outcomes in your life. Yes, you do your part, you take your responsibility and do what you have to do and the Heavenly Father works out the rest. I'm not saying that it's you doing your part that's going to lead to the good outcomes, but you doing your part is, is part of the ingredients. You doing your part is part of the ingredients and God arranges the outcomes. But God will arrange outcomes in such a way that He gets the credit and you get the benefits. As simple as that. So stop controlling. Agree with Christ.